I mean, you guys didn't think that I forgot, did you? Because it's time. Um, uh, after, uh, let me put it on the ticker. So, after 21 episodes, the leaderboard looks like this. We have Kevin up at the top at 11, Javon at 10, and Gary is at 6. So, I've been having Kevin be the first to answer the question for weeks now because he has been at the top of the leaderboard for weeks. I'm going to switch things up this week. Javon, you're going to go first. Uh oh. So, here is the question. This person is the only player in Division One history with multiple career 35-point triple-doubles. In history of all time? History of all time. We're talking college basketball. Oh, college I'll basketball. read the question. College basketball. I'll read I'll read the uh the question one more time as this is March Madness edition part 2 of Sean's Pop Quiz following up from last week. So I'll read the question one more time. This person is the only player in Division 1 history with multiple career 35 point triple doubles. Jesus. This is Trey Young. Devon, you have 10 seconds. What was your answer? Trey Young. It is not Trey Young. That is incorrect. Oh, Kevin, cool. for the steal, do you have a guess of... I'll read the question one more time before I get your answer. So this person is the <coughs> only player in Division I college basketball history Kobe with Ryan. multiple career 35-point <laughs> triple doubles as Javon Jones. Obviously, Kobe didn't play. Uh, yeah, Kobe, yeah, let's just name every guy who didn't go to college. Uh, Kevin so, Kevin, what is your guess? Who is the person? Magic Johnson. That is incorrect. Damn. I don't know who it is. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm a little disappointed in you guys. John Moran. Number one. Number one. And no, it's not Jaw. Well, Number <laughs> one, due to the phrasing of the question saying person, it's Caitlin Clark. We just we just witnessed her oh, get a 34 point triple double say. last night. Caitlin you Clark had a 41 point triple double. She now has multiple. 35 point triple yeah. doubles because as we know on Sunday against Louisville, Caitlin oh, Clark had question. 41 points, 10 oh. rebounds, 12 assists, and three steals. And she was eight of 14 from three point land. And as I mentioned earlier, she recorded the first 30 point triple double in NCAA tournament history, men's or women's, and the first 40 point triple double, men's or women's, as she led Iowa to their first Final Four since 1993. Now we got to ask if it's men's or women's with every question. Man. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to tell you whether Specify, it's men's or women's. Yeah. Uh, I just, it, yeah, that's why I say this person. This All right. Person. So, Kevin, now on to you. This person is the only Division <laughs> One player since 2000 with 30 <laughs> points per game, 10 assists per game, and 50% field goal shooting over a five-game span. I'll read the question one more time. This person. This person <laughs> is the only Division I college basketball player since 2000. So in the last 23 years, with 30 points per game, 10 assists per game, and at least 50% field goal shooting over a five-game span. Do you have a guess, Kevin? Brianna Stewart. That is incorrect. Javon, do you Trey have a guess? We'll You're going with Trey Young again? <laughs> <laughs> that is this incorrect. person bro it's a girl damn it woman yeah well this woman is caitlin clark oh my god <laughs> bro, there's no way caitlin clark is the only person in division one history since 2000 with 30 points per game 10 assists per game and 50 percent field goal shooting over a five game span so there you go the caitlin, clark. caitlin clark i'm gonna lose my mind <laughs> caitlin clark is her all right now, Gary isn't here, so his question becomes a bonus question. The first person that I hear, because I will be on a, on a separate screen, the first person that I hear called Dibs will get to answer the question first. Okay, guys, I hate to disappoint, but this, this isn't... Uh, no. <laughs> no, this, 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 is not, this is not a uh, college basketball question. This is now an NBA question. Okay, so, so it's not a this first question. No, this is a men's national basketball <laughs> association question. All right. So here we go. This is the first time since 1998 that this team will be in the playoffs without this 
future Hall of Famer. So okay, I heard. Gonna I heard I heard Kevin. I heard Kevin, and I'll just say Kevin before I get your answer. I need to hear the name of the team and the player. So I'll just read the question one more time, as Kevin knows the answer. This is the first time since 1998 that this team will be in the NBA playoffs without this future Hall of Famer. So two two answers to one question, Kevin. What are the answers? LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Ding, ding, ding. Oh. Kevin gets it right. That is correct. This is the first time since 1998 that the Cleveland Cavaliers will be in the NBA Wild playoffs Lord. without <laughs> LeBron James. Our entire Ooh. lives. Kevin, you were a year old, but basically Javon and I's entire lives. The Cavs have not been in the playoffs without a without guy LeBron. named LeBron James. Fun That's fact. Donovan yeah, Mitchell was two years old. Garland, yeah. Mobley, and Jared Wonder Allen weren't even born. That's amazing. That's amazing. It's lonely at the top, right. Toddy. It's lonely at the oh top. Yes, now, you asked him a oh. LeBron James question, he's going to answer it right. I didn't I mean, ask I him it. a question. <laughs> I asked both of you a question. It was Gary's question. It was a bonus question. So, LeBron, I mean, I, 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 I was Gary looking at it. Gary got it right, too. <laughs> yeah, pro- I hope so. Uh, uh, but, but yeah, so, so there you go. Kevin now has 12, Javon has 10, and Gary has six after 22 episodes of uh, Stats Over Politics. And-